Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are still on the 07 again. Uh, we went today for lunch, flogged on it pretty hard. And now we are gonna go ahead and do our uh, valve cover. So crankcase ventilation is very important in any kind of engine, whether it be gas or diesel. Um, in this video, we're gonna be covering your 5967 Cummins. Now from the factory, if you have a 03 to 05 truck, you have a plastic cover here and a crankcase filter here. That crankcase filter is removable and changeable. You have your blow by tube, the external crankcase vent, that's the big one. And then you have your oil return, which goes down to the block right there. Now, in your 07 to 09 third gens, or 06 to 09 third gens, you have this. The valve cover is built with the crankcase vent in it. It's not serviceable, unfortunately. So, same concept, two lines off. Now, on your 67 trucks, actually it might even be third gen 67s, I'm not sure. It's been a minute since I've seen one in here. You have a three piece valve cover. You have a top piece, you have a filter inside, and then you have your lower valve cover. In that valve cover, you have a line that returns down to the block, and then you have a line off to this side that goes into the intake track of the turbocharger. Put it in the best terms possible, emissions happen. So gone are the days of an external crankcase vent. You'll hear positive, cra uh, positive crankcase vent, CCV reroute, all these terms, gut the CCV, all this stuff. I'm not going to tell you which decision to make because that's your call, not mine. I can tell you on my trucks what I do, and all my trucks are older. Uh, I run a valve cover that has external uh, ports to a catch can, then to the atmosphere. Just like the 07, we have the two lines that came off of the filter. They went to the vibrant catch can and then the two lines terminated down there by the transmission. And then we had a drain valve hooked into the bottom of our catch can that let whatever went in the catch can drain back into the block. That's how I set my stuff up. Um, I've had really good luck with that. Uh, some cases I don't always drain it back to the block. It just depends on where I can get that uh, catch can to be located. So. That's what we're gonna do uh, for valve covers. We have this DNJ valve cover. This is this one was used. Uh, one of our customers actually does powder coat part time and got us hooked up. This is uh, it's kind of hard to see, but a very pearl metallic flake. It's supposed to be a pretty close match to PV7. Um, he got this done for us. And you guys can see here, it has three ports. Uh, this came off of the old enforcer motor that was on the 05. I will not be needing this port. The factory baffling from DNJ, I just plugged that off and I run these two front lines just because they're easier to get to. From there, we will be going into our vibrant catch can right here. Uh, I always get the one that has the four ports and the reason why i get the four port one is quite simple i don't want the vented one here because if anything ever did happen and it did fill up or whatever i don't want all that hot oil being able to spill in the engine compartment i'd rather control it and have it go down um, by the transmission area so that's how i do it these are dash 10 that's all i run on the quad cab that's all I intend to run on the Mega Cab is two dash tens uh, from the valve cover, two dash tens to the ground. And the reason why we're doing this, this truck's got a lot of miles on it. We have essentially doubled at minimum the horsepower of this truck. If I had to guess, I would say the Mega Cab on Tune 5, we are right at 700 
just going off my butt dyno, what it feels like, how it drives. I would say tune five, 700. I would say tune one and two are right around 350, 400. Just where I got the pulse width and the timing and the rail pressure. So all in all, we have picked up a substantial amount of horsepower in this vehicle. Again, we've effectively doubled it. Um, and honestly, to the tire, it's probably closer to almost triple from stock. These trucks came from Cummins or Ram or Dodge with 325 uh, wheel or 325 crank horsepower. Usually to the tire, we see 275. So yeah, almost three times uh, the amount of horsepower. So in order to do this, it's very easy. Pull your old valve cover off, which is that line. This line, which I already broke because they get brittle, and I left our hose there. If you remember way back when I did injectors, I knew this was coming. Uh, valve cover off, the two lines off. Then I use this bolt here to mount my catch can. This line here that's already attached to our block drain will get mounted to the bottom of our catch can. And then we'll have two lines that go from this side of our valve cover over here. Very simple to do. The other thing I'm gonna do while it's in here, just do a double check on our turbo. I also wanna get the compressor cover and our intake pipe painted. I kinda left some loose ends after our last video, quite frankly, because I just ran out of time. So I'm gonna get this all ripped apart and then I will show you guys why the location of those ports is important. So to get our catch can prepped, you have your um, baffled side here. And if you look, basically you want two of your lines to be on one side of the baffle, two to be on the other. In this case, we're going to, I don't know. I guess we'll run the two engine motor i'm not sure but it is a dash 8 o-ring boss we run a dash 8 o-ring boss to a dash 6 push lock 90 and the reason why is we ran 3 8 hose slips over that thing so you Okay, time has passed, I'll give you that. But what we have is our two dash tens going down. Uh, those get terminated right down here. Uh, same as the 07 uh, right there. I just zip tie them to that hole provided by a ram. Um, gets it past the driver's window, which will help at stoplights for smell. We have our black vibrant catch can, which I think looks way better than the silver. Um, and if you look down there, that black hose right here 
goes into our block drain. So that's how it's set up. And then we have our black valve cover uh, with our AN lines. And I actually use the clamps. I really like these things. Uh, it might be hard to see, but we do have the um, back there with a cap on it. If you look at the like OEM DNJ breather, we cap that off. And then that third crankcase vent is plugged off. I went with a black cap, just looks nicer. We have a nice bedazzled uh, cap there. I just got to put the bolts in. And then I decided that this industrial thing looked really cool. It was just way too loud in this engine bay. So I painted it flat black. Um, and then I did touch up this uh, lifting eye bracket. It was just a little unsightly, really. <coughs> we have our turbo painted. Um, no oil residue at all inside this turbocharger. So, so far, so good. Um, like I said, I was not easy on it today. I barked it probably four or five times. S400s for the win. You guys saw me on camera remove the OEM crankcase vent. It's got two clips that hold it to the harness and then a stud right down here on the block where your grounds are at uh, to secure it and then it comes right out. Now we will just put our intake back on. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the compressor cover without any you know, intake on it. It just looks really sick. I I'm really, really happy with how this turned out and our vibrant catch can. Um, really the only thing left to paint on this thing is the intake horn and the intake plenum. Um, I'll get there eventually, just, just not today. So uh, looking really good. Let me get this thing buttoned up here. And then uh, one thing I did wanna show everyone is why it's on this side. So if you look, all right, so it's on the exhaust side. If you look at this motor, this is the intake side exhaust side if you look at this motor you have all of your push rod holes are primarily on the driver's side you don't have any direct links to the crankcase over on this side um the rocker arms actuate like this they pivot on this side so if they fling oil up it's most likely going to go up and over i find picking up your crankcase vents on this side although it does make your hoses look a little longer or uglier or whatever um, leads to a, a lot more pressure able to get out without so much oil coming with it. So I have capped these catch cans on my quad cab before. I think I did like four or five passes uh, and I had maybe a half inch in there. When I ran a valve cover, I originally did back with the 05 and I put the bungs on this side thinking shorter hoses um i think it was like three passes it overflowed on me so i do think it's definitely worthwhile putting all your vents on this side why all the manufacturers tend to put it here is beyond me uh d and j's breather is in the center and it's got a nice baffle to it um and that's fine i just i don't like the push lock style hose deal like i'm just not a fan so i just plug that one up and i use my own i think it looks nice uh, this engine bay has filled up quite quickly with uh, a lot of cool stuff, but guys, I'm really excited for this thing. Uh, it had a heck of a workout today, banging on the limiter and stuff. Uh, you know, Gordon might have hit the nail on the head. This may turn into something more, but for right now, S400 swapped, stock bottom end truck, full manual valve body. It's a, it's a great time. So I'm going to get this all buttoned up and then... Uh, We'll check out with you guys in a minute. Okay, so in the process of a night, you know, made it look a lot prettier under the hood. Like I said, got the turbo and intake painted. Uh, kind of dialed down the industrial injection heat shield. Just look at it. I put my fog lights in. Still waiting on my headlights. Um, I got them, but they had some damage. So I'm waiting on another set. No big deal. Uh, I put the fog lights on. These ones are super bright. I forget what company I get them from, but uh, you usually get flash for your high beams with those. So that'll help for the meantime. We also put our third brake light on. I'm trying to actuate the third brake light here. Uh, maybe not. The truck kind of slid. So anyway, got a third brake light on. Let's see if the. Oh, there you go. 
you can see it. And uh, yeah. Before I wrap up this video, this is your 5.9, maybe early 6.7, I'm drawing a blank valve cover underneath here. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's built into this valve cover. Uh, on this 6.7 here, we got this one apart. You guys can see the three pieces I was talking about. This is your cover. This is the tube that most people reroute, but it normally goes to your turbocharger. There's your crankcase vent, and there's your lower valve cover. Crankcase vent sits on it. This sits on there. And then we actually have an early 5.9 truck in here. Here is the 0305 trucks. You have your little bezel here. That covers the crankcase vent. There's your blow by tube. There's your reroute back into the block. And then this filter is replaceable on the outside. So there's your three styles from 03 to basically current. My, my 21 was like that. I know this video wasn't super duper long. You know, we had a couple of long doozies. I was in for a quicker night tonight, uh, but we got progress done. Again, little things, lighting, CCV vent, make it look pretty you know we're we're getting there guys little by little by little uh realistically all we have left now is airbag install airbag install tranny cooler and then tackle the interior but for right now we can pretty much tow the way it sits i would just like to put the airbags in but we're getting closer i have not forgot about the exhaust break we will be doing one just not right now I will get to it as soon as I can, but that is still in the works. Hopefully you guys like this one. You learned a little bit about crankcase ventilation. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are not already. And as always, guys, I will catch you all on the next one.